Mysterious sound waves have been detected by NASA probes studying Saturn, and this has led some people to suggest the space agency may well have captured the sounds of aliens communicating with each other. NASA's Cassini mission was the most comprehensive study of Saturn, and its numerous moons in history. This was a joint endeavour of NASA, the European Space Agency and the Italian Space Agency. Cassini is a sophisticated robot spacecraft orbiting the ring planet, and studying the system in detail. In late 2016, the Cassini spacecraft began a daring set of orbits called the Grand Final, which will be in some ways like a whole new mission. The spacecraft will repeatedly climb high above Saturn's poles, flying just outside its narrow F-ring 20 times. According to the space agency, in the course of their observations of the ring planets, scientists picked up on a number of radio waves. After NASA discovered dozens of these radio waves back in 2004, they admitted themselves to be rather flummoxed by the noises, and wrote a note saying, A most intriguing file. We do not know what to make of it. This prompted some amateur cosmologists to suggest these radio waves may well be recordings of aliens attempting to communicate with each other. This isn't the first time this has happened. Over the years, these types of signals have been picked up, and people are always left asking the same questions. Was it aliens? However, the scientific world has come forward and said there may be a more straightforward explanation for this odd phenomenon. It's been suggested these radio waves may well be naturally occurring. Saturn has an intensely powerful magnetic field, and when particles enter the charged atmosphere they may be affected by the field. This is in such a way they create natural radio waves, which sound like whizzes and static. There have been recordings of Saturn and these noises are eerie. The Cassini mission did not only focus on the gas giant itself, but also on 63 moons including Titan, the largest of Saturn's natural satellites. As far as moons go, Titan is an impressive one. Among our solar system's more than 150 known moons, Titan is the only one with a substantial atmosphere, and of all of the places in the solar system, Titan is the only place besides Earth known to have liquids. This is in the form of rivers, lakes and seas on its surface. Although this signal is thought to be natural, there are those that think it originates from aliens. Over the years, there has been much speculation about NASA. Some have put forward the theory that NASA are holding secrets about alien life. However, many researchers and scientists dispute this, saying that so far we have not found any proof of alien life. Dr. Brian O'Leary, former NASA astronaut, said the following. There is abundant evidence that we are being contacted, that civilizations have been visiting us for a very long time that their appearance is bizarre from any kind of traditional materialistic western point of view, that these visitors use the technologies of consciousness, they use toroids, they use co-rotating magnetic disks for their propulsion systems, that seem to be a common denominator of the UFO phenomenon. Recent developments at NASA have revealed the proposed budget for NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office has increased by $90 million. Some have put forward the idea that something is happening and this is why the budget has increased. The Planetary Defense Coordination Office is only two years old, and oversees finding near-Earth objects such as asteroids that could cause harm to the planet. The Planetary Defense Coordination Office is very important because it could warn us about a potential asteroid. Although most are small when they enter the Earth's atmosphere, if we were hit by one that was large it could potentially do a lot of damage. As mentioned, this increased budget has made many people question if something is happening. According to NASA, there are more than 25,000 asteroids near us of 140 meters in size at a minimum. Additionally, there are plenty of near-Earth objects that could be a threat to the planet. An asteroid projected to be larger than the one that wiped out the dinosaurs millions of years ago was not just seen with a telescope but with the naked eye. The asteroid that is labelled 4 Vesta by NASA is so giant and bright that it can be seen in the night sky as if it was hovering nearby, but it turns out that it's still 106 million miles away from the Earth. Even though it's so far away, it has caused people to ask many questions. According to astronomers at NASA, this 4 Vesta or Vesta as it's more commonly known is projected to be incredibly more significant than the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. In fact, it's believed to be 50 times bigger than the one that hit the Earth 66 million years ago. 
for many years now humans have been searching for alien life. We have some high profile space agencies that have made it their goal to find life outside of this planet, but so far we don't have any concrete evidence. What we do have though are mysterious signals that have been picked up. Recently we talked about the WOW signal, the mysterious signal that was discovered back in 1977. Recently, the alien hunting artificial intelligence known as the Breakthrough Listen program discovered 72 fast radio bursts. In radio astronomy, a fast radio burst is a high energy astrophysical phenomenon of unknown origin manifested as a radio pulse. The artificial intelligence program has been searching for signs of alien life for years, but up till now it has proven difficult. One of the reasons is because space is so vast. Over the years a large amount of data has been collected. One of the problems is going through all of that data that has been collected. The huge amount of data was the main reason why scientists turned to get help from artificial intelligence along with machine learning. Artificial intelligence and computers can work much faster than human beings are able to work. This has made the search for signals much easier. The fast radio bursts were picked up by the Green Bank Telescope. The scientists that were in charge of the program discovered the signals were coming from outside of the Milky Way. The researchers don't know what's causing the signals, and the scientists have said that if they're able to unlock the meaning of these signals it will help them to better understand who or what they're coming from. The exploration of space is extremely important for our existence. With enough knowledge and technologies out there we could actually travel through space live on certain planets and maybe even make a huge step in the evolution of our own kind. Another thing to remember is NASA astronauts successfully sequenced the DNA of the microbes that have been found aboard the International Space Station. This is huge news, considering it's the first time unknown organisms have been identified so close to outside of the Earth's atmosphere. With our increasing technologies, scientists and researchers are closer to determining what these signals are coming from. In the meantime, we can only wonder about their origin. Going back a few years, an unknown object was captured circling our planet. It's only thought to be around 60 feet in diameter, but it did confuse people. This object only rotated every minute or so. Amateur astronomer Bill Young first spotted the object on the 3rd of September 2002. Astronomers were surprised by this discovery because the moon is the only large object in orbit around the Earth, so many questions were being put forward about what this object could be. Due to studies, it was concluded the object must have entered into the Earth orbit recently. However, what was interesting is there were no recent spacecraft launches. One theory that was put forward is that it could have been a space rock. However, this was not the case and astronomers noticed something about the object. The most likely explanation is that the object was part of the Apollo 12 mission, to be specific the SIVB third stage. Some have asked the question of whether this object is not what they are saying, but rather more alien in nature. However, the researchers have come forward and said that if it is an alien spacecraft the aliens are not good pilots. One of the reasons being the object is in chaotic orbit. It loops around Earth once every 48 days or so coming as close to our planet as the moon and ranging as far away as two lunar distances. Recently, Russian scientists made an incredible find. They discovered that a meteorite has inside of it a mineral that does not occur on Earth. This find was made at the State University. The new material is a nitride, forms cube-shaped crystals and consists of vanadium, nitride and small amounts of iron and chromium. The Russian scientists have come forward and said the crystals can only be found in a small portion of the meteorite. The meteorite was discovered in 2016 and since then many tests have been conducted. The particles are small and this has created some challenges. The team was only able to directly determine the composition and structure of the material. The composition of the meteorite shows the material must have been formed under extreme conditions. Many of the minerals found there formed at well over 1000 degrees Celsius. On the 19th of October 2017, astronomers first noticed an object travelling through our solar system. The object in question has come from another solar system. It became known as Oumuamua and had many asking questions. 
It could be seen travelling around our sun and then shooting away again. However, after this it was not to return. Astronomers were able to record data on the object for a short period of time. It was in our solar system for over a century. The real reason a Muamua wasn't spotted until last year is because it wasn't close enough to reflect enough light for astronomers to pick it up. Even when it did get close it wasn't moving very fast, and meant astronomers had very little time to observe it. Once the strange object flew around the sun it was getting further away, meaning it was getting fainter and fainter. The astronomers very last observations from Hubble were on the 2nd of January 2018. On the 3rd of May it was then seen outside of Jupiter's orbit. According to some, a Muamua is expected to reach the Kepler belt in around 2024. Since first being seen by astronomers it's caused much speculation to what the object actually is. They are currently studying all the data they have before coming to a conclusion about the interstellar object. However, one theory that was put forward was that it was an asteroid. The scientists looked at the size of the object which was 2,600 feet or 800 meters long, and around 260 feet or 80 meters wide. In June, however, it was reported that astronomers stated the object was not moving as it should. They picked up on the fact that Oumuamua showed a really strong non-gravitational acceleration. This tells the researchers that its motion indicated that gravity was not the only thing dictating its path. Ultimately, it will be very difficult to find out more about Oumuamua, as it's no longer in our solar system. Many people have put forward their own theories, one of which is that the object is extraterrestrial in nature. The fact that it moves like nothing researchers have seen before could indicate it's under intelligent control. One person had this to say, I would like to understand how if a Muamua is a rock, it's sped up when moving through the solar system on an exiting route. I'd also like to understand how if conversely it was some sort of sail, then how little it must weigh to be pushed by photons coming from the sun, because that force is such an extremely small one when compared to the pull of gravity. Others have suggested this object is a probe sent by aliens from deep in space to survey the Earth. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.